Hello, my name is Chanda, and today I want to share the story with you called Billy and the Big New School. Billy was starting at a new school. It was very exciting, but it made him feel a little funny inside. On the Sunday before he started, Billy didn't feel like any breakfast at all. He kept thinking about the great big school and all the great big children. Billy began to wish that he could stay at home with his mum. You're just like a little bird who doesn't want to leave his nest, said Billy's mum, giving him a hug. Billy took the rest of his breakfast out to the bird table and waited for the birds who were his friends. The birds weren't scared of Billy because he was small like them and he knew how to stand quite still. Billy knew all the different birds. He'd made pictures of them for the kitchen walls. His mum had helped him write their names. Blackbird, Starling, Pigeon, Thrush and Sparrow. That Sunday morning, Billy talked to his to these birds. He told them about the new school. He told them that he was worried in case he got lost or started to cry. He told the birds that his mum had bought him new shoes with really difficult laces. I wish I was a bird, said Billy. Then I wouldn't have to worry about school at all or shoelaces. Suddenly the birds started making a terrible noise. Billy saw a new bird sitting on the ground. It was a tiny sparrow. All the other birds were picking on it and trying to chase it away. But the little sparrow couldn't fly properly. It wasn't really ready to look after itself. It was the smallest, grubbiest, weediest, most dusty bird Billy had ever seen. Billy called his mum. Billy's mum ran out and chased the other birds away. Then they carried the little sparrow inside. The kitchen was warm, but the sparrow was shivering. Billy found the box from his new shoes. He made a bed, bed out of cotton wool and put the bird gently inside. He could feel his little heart beating. Then Billy gave a bird a bowl of water and a tiny piece of bread, but it wasn't hungry. So Billy sat and talked gently to the sparrow. All that Sunday, the sparrow lay in the box and watched Billy with a big round eye. All that same Sunday, Billy's mum got things ready for the next day at the new school. She wrote his name Billy on his clothes, his bag, his pencil case and the new shoes with the really difficult laces. That night, Billy had a scary dream. He dreamt that he was a little bird who couldn't fly and the other birds were picking on him. Then his mum came into the bedroom and gave him a big hug and Billy felt much better. In the morning, Billy woke up so early for school that it was still dark. He had forgotten all about the little sparrow until he walked into the kitchen and saw it sitting in the middle of the floor. He had hopped out of the shoebox all by itself. It must be feeling better, said Billy's mum. I think it's time to let it go. The bird had gone into the big world, just like Billy. So Billy gently picked up the, picked up the little bird and opened the window. You have to fly away, he whispered. You have to learn to look after yourself like me. The little bird looked up at Billy it seemed to understand. Suddenly, it hopped under the windowsill and flew away into the sky. After breakfast, Billy took his new bag and his mum helped him with his shoelaces. Then it was time for school. Billy's teacher was called Mrs Berry. She was very nice. She showed Billy where to hang his coat and where the toilets were and the sink to wash his hands and the paints and the computer and the playhouse and the reading corner. Billy even found a big book all about birds. Some other children were new as well. After a while, another boy came and looked at Billy's book too. Then Billy had a friend. After lunch, Mrs Berry talked to the class about animals. 
she asked if anyone had a pet. Daisy had a dog, Callum had a cat, Jeremy had a gerbil, Wendy had a worm, Tom and Maddie, the twins, had a tortoise. Billy was very interested. What about you, Billy? asked Mrs Berry. Billy thought for a moment, then slowly he stood up. In a tiny voice, he began to tell everyone about his bird table. Then he told them about the poor little sparrow and how he'd put it in a shoebox until it was ready to fly. When he'd finished his story, Mrs Berry began to clap, and so did all the big children in Billy's class. Then Billy sat down. His face was bright red, but his smile was the biggest in the school. That night, Billy had another dream. But this one wasn't scary at all. He dreamt he could fly over the house, over the garden, over the town, and way over the big school, just like a bird. Billy and the birds flew high above the world and turned somersaults over the moon. A few days later, Billy brought his new friend home from school. They rolled about in the garden and got all dirty, but Billy's mum didn't mind. Billy and his friend had a picnic. They were very hungry. All the birds came looking for crumbs. Suddenly, Billy saw one bird that looked almost exactly like the sparrow from the shoebox. But he couldn't be quite sure because this sparrow was bigger and this sparrow was braver and the sparrow was happier and this sparrow had lots of friends. Just like Billy. The end.